another random post pero ito ay post pa rin ni Sir Edward Angelo Colis Morte dito sa ating Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Ito ay FB Group. Basahin natin yung question. A rectangular has a perimeter of 360 meters. If its length and width are in ratio of 5 is to 4, respectively, what would be its area? At ang ating mga choices are 800 squared meters, 8,000 square meters, 100 square meters, or is it 1,000 square meters? Let's read this again. A rectangular has a perimeter of 360 meters. If its length and width are in ratio 5 is to 4, respectively, what would be its area? Para mas klaro, i-drawing natin si rectangle. Yan si rectangle. Perimeter. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng perimeter? Pere, perimeter. Ito ay sum, sum of all sides. Kapag sinabi sum of all sides, i-add ba tong apat na sides na to? So, example, this is side A and this one is side B. Dalawa ang side B, so that means, or dito muna tayo sa A, dalawa ang side A. So, 2A plus 2 B. Yan yung perimeter. While area is equals to side A times side B. So using this, this formula, 2A plus 2B that is equals to perimeter. And perimeter is 360 meters. If length and width are in ratio 5 is to 4. So therefore, yung length natin, A, this is equals to 5x. Bakit 5x, ma'am? Ratio tayo. Mayroon pa tayong i-multiply na number kasi sa 5. At sa kasi B, this is equals to 4x. Meron tayong number, same number, na i-multiply dito sa 4. Kasi yung 5 is to 4, ratio kasi yan. Na list na yan. So, meron tayong the same number na i-multiply sa kanila. So, this is 2. I-substitute natin si A. Ang A natin ay 5x. Bali, let x be that same number na i-multiply natin sa ratio natin. Plus 2 at yung B ay 4x equals 360. I-multiply muna natin. This is 10x plus this one is 8x equals 360. Pwede natin i-add kasi same, same term naman itong dalawa. 10x plus 8x that is 18x equals 360. I-isolate natin si x para makita natin, makuha natin yung value ni x. So si 18 since pang multiply sa x, Pang divide ngayon siya sa 360. 360 divided by 18 and that is 20. Itong dalawang 18 na to, that is equals to 36. So 36 divided by 18, that is 2. Meron siyang 0, so that is 20. So equivalent ni x ay 20. Kaya, balikan natin itong x. Ang value ni x, this is equals to 5 times 20. Ito naman ay 4 times 20. So, bali, itong si side B is equals to 80. Ito naman si side A, this is equals to 100. Ang tanong, what would be its area? Ano nga bang formula ng area? Side A times side B. Side A natin ay 100. Okay? Times. Yung side B natin ay 80. And this is equals to 1 times 8. That is 8. Kopyahin si tatlong 0, 1, 2, 3. 
one, two, three. In other words, 100 times 80, that is equals to 8,000 squared meters. Square meters. Or M squared. So, ang sagot dito ay itong letter B. Again, never memorize the answer, kundi yung paraan kung paano sagutan itong mga ganito. Ang constant, bali yung parang i-memorize mo talaga. Ang perimeter, intindihin mo kung ano yung perimeter. Sum of all sides. Intindihin mo kung paano kunin yung area. I-multiply yung dalawang sides. Ganon lang. Kapag ratio, yan yung pinakalist. Kaya meron tayong x, 5x, at saka 4x. Kasi hahanapin natin yung same number, which is nahanap na natin, which is 20, na i-multiply natin dito sa x. Kaya si side A nakuha natin na 100 meters si side A. Itong side B natin, kaya nakuha natin 80 meters. Kung itong 100, dalawang 100, that is 200. Dalawang 80, that is 160. So, ang total nito ay is equals to 360. So, kung i-multiply natin kasi ang hinahanap ay area, so 100 times 80, and that is 8,000. Another way of solving this, erase muna natin ito, doon tayo sa another way of solving. Pero, take note, ang gagawin ko dito ay pariho lang talaga sa itong unang solusyon natin. Ipapakita ko lang yung another way, although pariho lang talaga siya. So, ito yung side A natin, ito si side B. Perimeter means, ito na yon. 2A plus 2B. Pwede naman yung isang side lang talaga itong dito lang. So, that is A plus B. Isulat ko na lang ang buo. A plus 2A plus 2B is equals to perimeter. Or yung perimeter natin na nasa given na, or nasa mismong tanong, ay 360. Pwede namang A plus B equals yung half ng 360, that is 180. Yan lang. Now, itong A natin ay equals to 5x. At ito naman ay 4x. So, this one is 5x plus 4x is equals to 180. 5x plus 4x, that is 9x equals 180. Para i-isolate natin si x dyan, since si 9 pang multiply sa x, pang divide na siya sa 180. 180 divided by 9, and that is 20. Ganun pa rin, yung value ni x ay 20. At itong 20 na yan, yan yung i-multiply natin sa 5. Pareho lang din ang ginawa natin kanina. At saka dito sa 4. So, 5 times 20 equals 100. Uh, 4 times 20 equals 80. So, ang area ay 100 times 80 is equals to 8,000 m squared. Ngayon, kung gets nyo na, mag-gets nyo na rin ang shortcut natin ngayon. Ipakita ko kay sa inyo yung shortcut. Direkta tayo dito. This is 9. So, ang half dito ay 180. Ngayon, itong 9 na ito, yan yung i-divide natin dito. That is 20. So, 5 times 20, i-multiply natin sa 4 times 20. And that will give us the answer. This is 100, this is 80, and the answer is 8,000.